In this video, we are going to prepare our project code and create our game screen and few other classes. I'm assuming that you are already familiar with basics of libgdx and you already have basic libgdx knowledge. If you are not familiar with libgdx, I have other courses that teach libgdx in high detail, so I'm not going to go into too many details about some libgdx classes like camera, viewport, shape renderer, game, and so on. So first we are going to create our package screen. In that package we are going to create game screen class. Game screen. That class will have implemented interfaces. It will implement interface screen from combedlogic gdx. Now all we need to do is alt insert implement methods and implement all the methods that we need. But first we are going to add some variables or attributes. So I'm just going to add little comment attributes. First we need camera viewport and shape render. So private orthographic camera, camera, private viewport, viewport and private shape render, render. Then we will have our constructor, alt insert constructor and select none, which will be empty for now. In show method, let's add a little comment before show method public methods. In show method, we need to initialize our variables. Show method is called first and game is calling the show method automatically for us. So camera is new orthographic camera. Viewport is new fit viewport, but in order to initialize our viewport with the size that we need, we are going to create game config class where we will have configuration for our game. So let's create package config, new package config. In that package, we are going to create new Java class, game config. And that class will only contain constants. So there is no need to instantiate that class and we can create private constructor. So little comment constructors, private game config, constructors, and that is just private constructor. Now we will have some constants. So we need the width and height in pixels for our desktop only. And we need world width and world height in world units. Public static final float width will be 600. And this is in pixels. And public static final float height will be 800 pixels. Now we need our world size. Public static final float world with it, which will be 15. And this is in world units. Public static final float world height will be 20 world units. Why are we using world units? It is the best to use world units because that way we will easily handle multiple screen sizes and we don't need to worry too much about resizing and scaling. So in game screen, now we can initialize our fit viewport with game config world with it and game config world height. And third parameter is our camera. Next is renderer is new shape renderer. Inside resize method, we need to tell viewport about resize. So we need to call viewport update, with it and height. Third parameter is true to center our camera. Pause and dispose can be empty. In height, we are going to call dispose. And in dispose, we are going to dispose our shape renderer because we need to dispose all resources. So render.dispose. This is our game screen. And only thing that we need to do 
is to clear our screen. In order to do that, we can call gdx gl gl clear color, and that is just the color, which accepts four float parameters from zero to one. For red, green, and blue, we will put all zeros, which is black color, so zero, zero, zero. And for alpha, we are going to use one. And the next line is GDX GL, GL clear. Which is GL 20 dot GL underscore color buffer bit. Those two lines just clear our screen. You can add little comment clear screen. And now in our Skippy Flowers game, instead of extending application adapter, we are going to extend game class. And game class is similar to application adapter, but it allows us to have multiple screens in our game. So just game, we can delete sprite batch and texture image. In create, we can leave it empty for now. And all other methods, we can just remove all of them. In create, we are going to set our screen to game screen. So just call set screen, new game screen. And that's all. In the next video, we are going to start adding character to our game.